Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella, if you're new here, if not then hello. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some really fun activities to do at home when you finish your studying. I know that it can get quite boring just staying at home, so I thought it'd be really fun to show you some ideas or fun activities to do. This video is actually a collab with my friend Alex. She's an American college student, and she's gonna be showing you five activities, and I'm also gonna be showing you five activities. So when you finish watching my video, make sure to pop over to her channel and watch her five activities. I'll make sure to link her channel down below and also up here. I've been doing a lot of these activities myself and I found I've been a lot more motivated to actually do my studying and things like that because I've set aside time to do some fun activities. So I hope you guys learn from both mine and Alex's video and find some really fun things that you can do in your spare time. If you do enjoy this video then I'd love if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribe and let's just get on into the video. Okay, the first activity I'm gonna do is some painting. So I really enjoy painting. I have some watercolors here and some brushes that I got from Amazon. Painting is a really nice way just to completely relax and it's just really nice to be creative sometimes. So if painting is something that you like to do, then this is a great activity to do when you've finished all your studying. So I don't know what I'm gonna paint. I think I might do some flowers and some plants. So yeah, let's just get on in to it. Okay, so I've just finished. This is all I've got. Loads of little plants and kind of flowers and things like that all nice and colorful but yeah that is my first activity painting i really enjoy it it's really relaxing and it's just you know stress free so i really recommend you guys doing some painting as a first activity So as you can see, I'm outside for this next activity and it is to take some photos. Now it's been so nice and sunny in England recently, so I thought I'd take advantage of the sun and take some photos of some flowers in my garden. I have my camera, but you can just use kind of any phone camera as they're pretty good. And yeah, let's go take some photos. Look how pretty the flowers are. So I'm gonna take some photos of that. Like this is my favorite color so I'm gonna take some photos of these now for this next activity and it is to redo and organize your room or working space so since I've moved back home from university I found it really hard to organize my makeup collection so that's what we're going to do now I need to declutter it all and put away some things so that's what I really recommend you guys to do to just organize anything in your room or in your study area and make sure that everything is perfect so this is the state of my makeup as you can see it's just all over the desk, I don't know where to put it. So I'm gonna try and put some things in here, in here and find a place for my eyeshadow palette. So let's do that now. Decided I'm gonna put my eyeshadow palettes in this drawer here because it fits them really nicely. And let me think, I'm gonna put my makeup brushes in this bag and everything like makeup wise in this container here. I basically put my foundation and things in there, my mascaras here, any eyebrow products in there, and then as I said, I put my palettes that I've got here into the drawer, and that's just a lot nicer. I really, I really think that's just a lot cleaner and everything like that, which is good. So yeah, that's what my makeup collection looks like now. It's quite minimum because a lot of my things are still at university, but that's why I really recommend the activity to redo and organize your room because things can be a lot more cleaner. 
We're in the kitchen for the next activity and it is to do some baking. I absolutely love baking. I have such a sweet tooth, so I thought this would be a great activity to share. Unfortunately, since the shops are getting more and more empty, I don't have enough ingredients to make something from scratch. So we have this kit here. It's a Betty Crocker chocolate fudge brownie kit and I absolutely love these. They're so much fun. I think all you add is egg and oil. So I'm going to be making these. And yeah, baking is just such a nice way to relax and you can also get a sweet treat at the same time. So let's go. I've just turned the oven on and now I'm going to put the mix into the bowl with the egg and oil. So let's do it. up now and it smells so tasty I always forget how tasty these brownies are okay so this is what it looks like it looks so tasty and now I'm going to get some parchment paper and put the whole mix into the baking tray and then put it in the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes because I like them quite gooey um, and yeah I just want to explain more about why baking is a really good activity obviously working and studying from home is quite stressful and I just find baking a really nice way to kind of cool down and relax after a really stressful day not only can you make some really delicious treats like brownies but it's a really nice way just to have a nice relax and feel more at home when you're working so it's just come out of the oven and this is what it looks like. I'm going to let it cool and then cut it up into little pieces. Okay, we're now onto our final activity and it is to make some TikToks. Pretty much everyone I know has TikTok, but if you don't, it's basically this app where you can make 15 second or 60 second videos. It's a bit like Vine, it's a bit like Musical.ly. Um, you can make dance videos, you can make funny videos, you can pretty much just film whatever you like. I have my own TikTok based on my YouTube and it's where I help people out with student tips. So I'm gonna be filming a few of those today and I thought I'd bring you along. So this is where I film my TikToks. I'm in my living room and I've got a really nice background behind me. And what I like to do is place my phone in front of me, sitting down, so I just have a nice background. So today I'm going to be filming how to work from home. If you haven't already seen my latest video, I filmed a whole YouTube video about it. But I'm going to do a quick 15 second one on TikTok. So let's find a song. Okay, so I'm all done now and this is what the TikTok looks like. Okay, so that's my TikTok done. Like I said, you can pretty much make any kind of TikTok. So you can do dance ones, you can do funny ones, you can do makeup, anything that interests you. I just like doing shoot tips because that's what interests me. So they were my five fun activities to do when you're in quarantine. Make sure to check out Alex's video where you can find five more. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.